I often get asked for many of my friends and colleagues about where should I start to learn hacking. My answer always includes a handful of hacking websites which I found very useful during my journey in this awesome industry. And today I will share with you the best hacking websites you should definitely use. For those who stumbled upon this channel for the first time, it is dedicated to helping you learn and become a better ethical hacker. The topics cover web application hacking, penetration testing, bug bounty hunting, etc. So let's discover the best hacking websites together. First of all, let's understand why hacking websites are so important. Well, I always say that you can't learn hacking without practice. Unfortunately, you can't practice by hacking arbitrary websites because it is unethical and illegal, to say the least. You could develop your own web applications and then hack them, but then that would take a lot of time and effort, especially if you're not a developer. This is where hacking websites come into play. In fact, they offer a practical playground ready to be hacked by everyone. If you want to focus on learning a specific vulnerability, you can solve the corresponding challenges. Alternatively, if you want to hack a machine from start and become root, that's to say having full privileges, you can play boot to root challenges. You can even practice in live capture the flag challenges, either alone or with a team, and play against other teams. This offers a tremendous opportunity for you not only to learn hacking, but also to sharpen your skills and keep them up to date. So now that we know the importance of the hacking websites, what is the best way to learn from them? Well, some hacking websites offer challenges without solutions. You might think that this is not practical, but it's the best way for you to learn in my opinion. In fact, rushing into the solution without putting in enough effort will not benefit you in any way. When you take your time and understand the problem and solve it on your own, you will never forget it. Besides, real-life hacking involves so many rabbit holes, long hours trying to understand and exploit security vulnerabilities. So, you will be learning while preparing yourself for your future real targets at the same time. So, with that said, let's explore some hacking websites that you should learn from. The first one is Google Gruyere. It's a hacking website developed by Google, and it's deliberately vulnerable, so you can hack and learn about many security vulnerabilities. It's available online, which means that you don't need any lab setup. It includes well-known issues like cross-site scripting, command injection, and CSERF. Additionally, you can also download the source code to inspect it and perform white box testing, that is, reading the source code and figuring out where vulnerabilities exist. Google Gruyere is great for beginners because it explains each vulnerability at a time with a corresponding challenge, and if you feel blocked, you can show the collapsed hints. Even though it also includes the solution, I don't recommend you use it. Some of the things that I like about Google Gruyere is it's easy to use. I mean, you don't need to spin up any local virtual machines. Moreover, it's great for absolute beginners. It contains great explanations for people who are still beginners in the field. But I find it quite limited in the number of vulnerabilities that are offered, which means that you won't learn a lot of vulnerabilities. That's why I will talk about other hacking websites and platforms, which are far more exhaustive. Now, if you have a slow connection and you want to eliminate network latency when you are doing ethical hacking, then Vonhub is your friend. In fact, it is a hacking website which collects virtual machines that you can download one time and install it locally on your host using a virtualization software such as VirtualBox or VMware. Vonhub offers so many machines in all difficulty levels. The way those challenges work is that you boot the virtual machine and your goal is to become root. This is known as boot to root challenge. For each machine there is usually a publicly available solution, 
also known as a walkthrough, but I don't recommend you read it until you exhaust all the ideas you have in mind. The things I like about Vulnhub is that it's an offline hacking, which means that it eliminates network latency, and it offers a really large choice of virtual machines to choose from. Unfortunately, there are no hints and no forum to exchange ideas between the community members, and sometimes you need to invest more time to troubleshoot some networking issues when the virtual machine is not reachable from your host machine. Now to one of my favorite hacking platforms, which is rootme.org. It's a mature hacking platform that you can use to practice ethical hacking. It is much more than just a simple hacking website. In fact, it offers challenges in many areas, such as web, cryptography, cracking, networking, and more. Besides, it hosts boot-to-root machines online, which you can use to hack a live target and become root without having to download and install the virtual machines locally. Some of these machines even come from Vulnhub, which makes it convenient for those who don't like to set up a personal lab. Furthermore, it has a leaderboard and a strong and live community that you can interact with using IRC or through the forum. Additionally, it offers professional services for companies which seek for employees, hacking training, etc. This ethical hacking platform provides solutions for the challenges it offers. However, you can't see one unless you solve the corresponding challenge first. This is a great feature because it encourages you to make efforts on your own. To help you during this tough process, RootMe provides you with the related documentation that you can use to understand and solve the challenges on your own. Besides, you can find hints in the forum threads, you can post a message in the IRC chat, or even contact someone who has already solved the challenge. So here we are on the RootMe platform, and right away you see that we have three languages, plus the default language, which is French. So let's switch to English. And it asks you to register your account if you're not already registered. Or you can log in. I'm going to log in using my account. And here we are on the home page. Let me switch to English. So you have a lot of news here, which means that the platform is really live and it gets updated with a lot of content every day. Same thing for the new challenges that get published, the solutions. And you have the forum, which is powered by a really vibrant community. And here you have the menu, which offers the benefits of Fruit Me. And I'll start with the challenges. So. As you can see, there are so many categories that you can use to learn each vulnerabilities at a time. So for example, if you want to learn about web server vulnerabilities, we have 64 challenges, which range from a really easy difficulty challenges to hard challenges. And for each challenge, you can go inside and you read the statement and then you have the challenge and when you finish you enter the password here which is the flag for the challenge to solve it so when you start the challenge it redirects you to the challenge URL you see here that we have a solutions button but if you click on it it doesn't show you the solution because I have not yet solved that challenge but these are the users which have recently solved the same challenge. And so you can just contact them. So here, for example, I might go to this user and then contact. And then I can send him um, a really exhaustive message explaining what the things I've done and where things are blocking for me so that he can give me the hints that would not spoil the challenge for me. You also have the possibility to participate in CTFs. So the way it works is that you have rooms, which now support up to 40 rooms, I guess. 
and you can see that each room has a virtual environment chosen. So here, for example, there's a room that's running the machine sandbox version 4, and there is one attacker who is trying to solve that CTF. Now, I can enter that room and compete with him, and whoever finds the flag first will destroy the machine. Alternatively, I can choose a, an empty room like this one, and I can choose among a lot of boot to root machines to start hacking on. We have uh, some really classic machines that are also available on, on Vulnhub, like Kyoptrix, Metasploitable, Metasploitable 2, etc. Once you choose a machine, you can hit save to vote for that game to start and then start the game. Now, behind the scenes, it's provisioning a new virtual machine that's going to be available for us to hack without having to locally install that machine on our host. Now, we have the URL that we can use. So just copy this URL. This is the host name, so now you should do like your port scanning with nmap, etc. But since I already know that Metasploitable exposes a web server, then if I go to the web server, I get it works, which means that there is a web server running behind. When you finish, you just enter the flag in this field and then you hit send and the challenge will finish. Otherwise, you have a time remaining here, a counter which indicates the time that you have for this challenge. Now let's leave that game and this will free up this room for other people. You also have a great community, so you can use the farm to either look for questions, hints to the challenges that you are looking for. So for example, if we go to the web server, we can search for the PHP eval, the challenge that I showed you in the beginning. And there are many entries here, so let's choose this one for example. And you can see if there are any hints that you can use to solve the challenge. Be aware that you should only use that if you exhausted all the possibilities and ideas that you have in mind. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much I enjoyed preparing it. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so that you get updates when I publish a new video. Don't forget that there are supporting blog posts to most of the videos for further reading. I encourage you to subscribe to the newsletter and receive an article on every Friday to end your week on a hacking content from thehackerish.com. If you are new to hacking and want to learn the basics, read the OWASP Top 10 Theory and Hands-on articles on thehackerish.com and apply your knowledge on the lab which supports them, which you can download on the same site. If you enjoy learning with videos, I invite you to watch the OWASP Top 10 YouTube playlist. However, I really encourage you to first try to solve the lab exercises before spoiling them with the videos as they contain mostly the solutions. Until the next one, stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.